I have sold it to the million dollar mark. How many people in here can say they've donated a million dollars to charity by the time they're 20? Jeff Hansen is an artist and philanthropist whose paintings hang in the homes of celebrities like Elton John, Patrick Dempsey, and Billy Joel. His work has raised over $3 million for charity, and he's only 24. Even more impressive, he is legally blind. Jeffrey was born with a genetic condition, neurofibromatosis. It's characterized by short stature, learning disabilities. Tumors can develop anywhere throughout your body in your nervous system. At the age of six, Hansen developed a tumor on his optic nerve, causing him to go blind. And in the midst of chemotherapy and radiation, he started painting. It was more so fun just to do that. I mean, and to have people come over and paint with me and just talk. As Hansen and his parents realized, he had a gift. They also leaned on their church family at the United Methodist Church of the Resurrection in Leawood, Kansas. Members helped show Jeff the importance of giving back simply by being there for him in his time of need. They are our family. They have lifted us up in the bad times and they have celebrated us in the good times. I felt like after chemotherapy and radiation, I needed to give back. My fundraising began at a glorified lemonade stand at the foot of our driveway, which in one summer raised $15,000. With the support of his parents and his church, Hanson kept at it and his paintings now sell between 20 and a hundred thousand dollars a piece at auction. One hundred thousand! No art training. A kid who can't see the stars, a kid who can't ride his bike. We consider this a God thing. No one in the medical world was promising any happy ending to this story. Over the past 10 years, we've gone from Make-A-Wish to a world-renowned painter generating $3 million for charity. My core belief is every act of kindness helps create kinder communities, more compassionate nations, and a better world for all even one painting at a time. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.